radiation treatment and the side effects associated with it are usually divided into short-term and long-term categories. In the short term, radiotherapy can cause a mild fatigue, usually not to the point where the patient has to stop their normal activities, but at the end of the day, they often feel a little bit more tired and are likely to go to bed somewhat earlier than they normally would. That side effect tends to persist for two to four weeks after the radiotherapy treatment is completed. Other short-term side effects are very dependent on the site of the body that is being treated by the radiation. Usually the radiation will cause a mild skin reaction where the skin gets a little bit red and sometimes peely, much like a moderate sunburn. If we're treating anywhere involving the, the gut, the abdomen or the lower chest, we can get some short-term nausea although that's usually well controlled with medication. If we're treating lower down in the gut, we can also experience or see some diarrhea, but again, that's well controlled by medication. If we're treating around the head and neck area, patients can get a sore throat or a slightly sore mouth. That side effect is usually self-resolving and by a week or two after the treatment's finished, patient feels quite normal again. If we're treating the brain, which is a common site for radiation treatment for secondary melanoma, patients will lose their hair temporarily, maybe for one to two months. They also might find that they develop a little bit of a headache and uh, some mild nausea, but that can be controlled with medications, as I said before. In the long term, we don't tend to see side effects from radiation unless we've given quite a high dose. The main indication for high dose radiotherapy in melanoma patients is treatment of the lymph gland areas. And that's usually done after the patient has had surgery to remove the lymph glands. When those lymph glands are removed, the normal pathway for lymph fluid through the body is disrupted. The addition of radiotherapy to those areas further disrupts the lymph node, the lymph fluid pathway by causing some scar tissue. That can produce a very common side effect known as lymphedema, which is swelling of the tissues beyond the lymph gland area. The most common site that we see that is in the arm and around the chest wall region in patients who have had their armpit or axillary lymph nodes removed and then treated with radiotherapy. It's a side effect that is usually managed though by specialist uh, lymphedema physiotherapists who design exercises and compression sleeves to reduce the fluid collection.